Your skin is your body's largest organ, and skin cancer is the most common of all cancers. We want to welcome dermatologist Dr. Brian Mathis from Sunflower Dermatology to the show with some important health information. Dr. Mathis, what is the most common type of skin cancer? The most common type of skin cancer is basal cell carcinoma. Uh, one in five people will get cancer, but that's the most common. Now, is, basal, is that the bad one? Is that the big one? No, melanoma is the most deadly. Uh, one person dies every hour, unfortunately, from that skin cancer. Um, how do people get skin cancer, primarily? Well, primarily, it's from sun exposure. So whether it's in a tanning bed or just outside, whether you're a lake person or just outside a lot, that's the most common way people get skin cancer. So all sunscreen, all the time, everywhere your skin is exposed, Faithfully? Is that what Faithfully, you're Faithfully, every day, yes. All right. Now, you're going to show us some different types of skin cancer, and I love the fact that you actually brought in a um, special effects makeup artist to put on a model today, and we're going to show, come on in, Steph. How are you, girl? So today, we're going to take a look at some skin cancers that you can actually see on her arm. They aren't real, but they've, they've, they've been made up. So let's take a look at some of them. Let's look at the first one right here that Stephanie's got. Well, this first one here is most likely what's called a basal cell skin cancer. Yes. And so... This seems obvious. People would say, well, how can they leave that on their skin and not come in? But we see it all the time. So this is kind of pearly, red, uh, raised, something that shouldn't be on her skin. It, it looks angry is what it looks like. It is angry. So, and there's a smaller one that's a lot more subtle. So let's take a look at that one. So this one here, this is what we see all the time where people say, oh, I just scratched myself or I just was scratched or something happened, but this is subtle, but yet this can also be skin cancer. So it's important just if something stays on your skin and isn't there when you, you know, when you notice it first, come in, let us take a peek at it. And more importantly, if it doesn't heal right. after a long exactly. time. Or right. now, would this, it, would this particular skin cancer, would it evolve, would it grow, would it get bigger? It would typically grow, get bigger, and sometimes get deeper, which would make it more dangerous. Okay, and then the elusive hidden skin oh. cancer that you don't normally see? Well, this is important because sometimes people don't see stuff behind their neck. Women have hair that's long, and so we look everywhere when we see them. So this it looks like what's called a malignant melanoma, the most dangerous skin cancer we see regularly. But you can see it's kind of in her neck. She might not see it, so it's important for people to check anywhere they have skin for skin cancer. And again, these are pretty, these are pretty accurate representations. You actually had a makeup artist put all these on, a special effects makeup artist. Right. So we, good. We're fortunate enough to have one work at our office, Thanks, and she Stephanie. so kindly did that. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, I appreciate it. All right, well, how can people prevent skin cancer? What's the easiest way besides sunscreen? The easiest way to prevent sunscreen is just avoid purposeful tanning. So no tanning beds, don't lay out by the beach, and just protect your skin. And you have an event coming up on Thursday, is that right? That's correct. Tell me a little bit about that, my friend. Well, we talk about skin cancer today, but our event on Thursday is a celebration for our patients called Ladies Night Out, where people can come, we're having it catered, Prohibition cocktails. It's going to be a great event. I love it. Sunflower Dermatology, come on Thursday, ladies. Night out. Thanks, doctor. I appreciate Thank it.